two years ago a fire that came through and decimated the entire park tragically and here we sit with probably I would say a 300 year old Douglas fir and what happened was this Douglas fir was inundated with pine and aspen and birch and understory and when the fire came through it burned this tree because of the fuel load that was here now had this 300 year old douglas fir that produces an enormous amount of, of fresh oxygen turning carbon using photosynthesis back into oxygen is now dead it must be 100 120 feet tall but had this tree been cleared and thinned and deadwood and cleaned up this tree would have survived this bark is the most fire resistant bark in the forest therefore making the tree the most fire resistant tree in the forest but it needed help and had we had fire cycles through here 70 80 90 years ago the fuel loads wouldn't have been so enormous that the tree would have burned. It would have lived another 300 years, 200 years, who cares? It might have lived 500 years. These things grow to old, old ages. But because we never maintain this forest, even though it's in a park, we don't cut in national parks. And not cutting in national parks is the most ridiculous thing ever because we've suppressed fire and now we don't cut. Well, that's the dumbest thing ever. How, how, how could we think that that would be okay? Reducing fire, eliminating it out of a fire dependent ecosystem. Are, are we stupid? Are we just dumb? What's, what's driving this, this intelligence that we would do something like this? We needed to be in here 30 years ago brushing and weeding and thinning and cleaning stuff out. Then 60 years ago maybe, brushing and weeding and thinning and cleaning things out. Reducing our fuel so that when this big event happens, it's not actually a big event. It's just another fire going through and mopping up the forest floor. But we chose because of environmental groups and we chose because of government inaction and status quo attitude of government. And the fact that we're not led in here to do any of this stuff, we had a fire in Waterton that decimated the entire park. And for no reason, this did not need to happen. This tree did not need to die in this fire. This tree needed to live for another 300 years, producing oxygen for humans in a poisonous environment of carbon and emissions and, and pollution. We needed this tree. And this tree is now gone. And now that it's gone, we're missing something. If we don't go to Banff National Park and deal with this problem the same way as I have explained here, we're gonna have the same problem there. Banff generates $12 billion worth of revenue gross every year, 3.3 million visitors. Can you imagine next year? Banff producing nothing? Zero? Because it's a burned out valley? Like Waterton? We were lucky enough to save the town site. Big deal. What about the millions of hectares out there that got burned? Look at this place. It's, it's, it's a cemetery of trees. This is not the way nature wants things to be. We have to learn that nature and the range that she historically operated it's the way that we need to operate. Not the way that we operate, the way she operates. She's the one that runs the show, and if we keep operating and doing what we want instead of what she wants, more of this will happen. More of this is not a good thing to happen.